I taught for a long time, and so I have first-hand knowledge that every single human being needs stories, and so I love giving them to people. Uh, set my own hours. Um, uh, it, the community of audiobook narrators is so accepting and loving and uplifting, and when you're an actress, especially when you're coming into a genre or a kind of acting, um, a medium, if you will, uh, it's so great to have so many different people with so many levels of experience say, hey, let me help you, let me lift you up, let me do this. Um, and uh, it's given me a second life, because my first one was that as a teacher, and then I took a risk and said, I'm out of here. And uh, and yeah, so it's given me this whole other fun life. And we got to show you a beautiful dress. Oh, thank you. Little little twirl around. However it does. Thank you. What's your name? I'm Renee Chambliss. I'm Renee. What are the top five things about being an audiobook narrator? The top five best things? Um, or just things. anything that's yeah. good. Uh, get to read stories for a living. You get to act and be all kinds of people. You get to be the hero, you get to be the villain, you get to be the romantic lead, both male and female. Um, you get to work with no shoes on, and nobody knows, <laughs> nobody cares. So it's that three, I think. Yeah. Um, you get to meet and interact with amazing people, authors and other narrators, producers, like audiobook people are just wonderful. So you get to be with them. And you have an excuse to go to New York every year to come to APAC. And the Audis, that's for that's right. So. Thank you. What's your name? RC Bray. And what are the top five things about being an audiobook narrator? For me personally or what I've read somewhere? <laughs> top five things. Um, working at home so I can take care of my kids. Uh, getting to play all the parts, male and female. Uh, the hours are pretty good. Finding that quality book, that gem that I otherwise wouldn't have picked up, passed right over. And finally, uh, the industry. Just a bunch of the, in the industry. It's some of the nicest, most generous people I've ever met in my entire life, and it's you know where I work. So it's that's it. Sarah Molo Christensen. Sarah, what are the top five things about being an audiobook narrator? Well, the community, which is obviously evident tonight, um, and that's huge because it's a pretty solo job, and uh, the support is amazing, and it's even better than when I've had coworkers who I was close to in real life. Um, getting involved in stories because I, like most of us, are huge nerds, I imagine, and read all throughout our childhoods to keep us sane. So finding the heart and wit in whatever we're narrating is hugely rewarding. Getting to do funny accents is really good. Um, getting to dress up once a year here. One more thing. Oh, not having to um, dress like a grown human for work. Except for today. Except for today. Yes, we need to get dressed. Alright, what's your name? Paul Heitch. Paul. A AKA David Brennan. Oh, okay. Paul, what are the top five things about being an audiobook narrator? Um, the, the work. I, I, it's, you, it's the best acting job there is because you get to be everybody. Um, including the, you know, the, the, the voice of God narrator. But you, you get to be the hero and the heroine and the comic sidekick. And all the incidental characters that, that come and go throughout the, the, the story. And you get to tell the whole story. And, and you're working with people who are, uh, you're, you're, you're bringing to life uh, the work of someone who's very uh, passionate about whatever it is they've created. And so that's, that's an honor to be trusted with that. And it's just a blast to be able to, to actually perform the work. Awesome. Really quick. Yeah. Top five things about being an audiobook narrator. Top five things? Yeah. I get to work in yoga pants. Um, I get to inhabit wonderful worlds and become different characters. Um, can that count for four? Because that's like the best, <laughs> that's the best thing ever. Like I, I just love everything about it. Storytelling, these wonderful characters, humor, sauciness, sexiness. It's great. Okay. Does that work? And what's your name? Oh, I'm Tanya Eby, also known as Tatiana Sokolov. Oh, you 
That says my that's my saucy self. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. What's your name? Chris Ducart. So Chris, what are the best five things about being an audiobook narrator? The people, um, not just the narrators, which all of the narrators are amazing, the engineers, the producers, the directors, everyone is so supportive. Um, also the authors. I love connecting with my authors and then fans. I've just met a truck driver fan. That was <laughs> the best, I mean, that I've ever, I couldn't even have imagined. Um, soft clothing. Normally I'm in soft clothing. That's awesome. Working from home, for the most part, I record from my little padded room in Pennsylvania. And I don't know, the, the next top five, the stories, living vicariously through my characters. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I feel like I I live lives that you know I never could have imagined from you know being a, a duchess to a shifter you know <laughs> um, yeah I think those are my favorite things I think that's four but there we go I don't know I think you made me go was that fine yeah. thank you so much <laughs> yeah all right real quick top five things about being an audiobook narrator um, I get to hang out with really awesome book nerds. They're all over there. Yeah. At fancy parties. Um, well, the obvious one, I get to read books and somebody pays me to do that. I am the boss of me most of the time. Uh, that's only three. I feel like I'm being put on the spot right now and I can't come up with any more, but there's lots. Um, no, I hate this game. <laughs> Hi, this is Karen White. Welcome to June is Audiobook Month. The top five things about being an audiobook narrator. Um, so many other people covered it, but I think, obviously, I get paid to read books for a living. And anybody who's a reader can imagine how wonderful that is. I get to learn so much about uh, so many different subjects that I might not explore myself had I not been assigned that book to read. Um, <laughs> I get to be my control freak self because I self-direct and I'm in control of my schedule and when and where I work and I get to do laundry when I take a break and walk the dogs. But mostly I get to live in a story um, and it's it's to me it's it's pretty much the best kind of acting job there is so thanks to all you listeners who make it possible and the authors as well